module 190 in the chapter of optimization today's topic is the derivation of the revenue function as we have previously seen that the revenue function is the component of the two parts it is having one part that is equal to the original price times the change in quantity and the other is the original quantity times the change in price so by the combination of these two components or means the product of these we can have our revenue function and this revenue function it tells us that how with the change in price revenue will change and this was the aspect only not in the change in the revenue sometimes producer wants to check that how with the change in the price its total revenue that has changed at which rate it's going to change it means now we want to measure not only change in revenue we want to measure that at which rate this change is occurring so for this we divide our revenue function with that change in price but before doing this we will ex not only express this in mathematically but first we will express this through the geometrical and coming to this we see that this component shows that if there will be change in the output price where the original price is p and this is the second price after the change it means this the gap between these two that is expressed by this is equal to the change in price so when the output price has changed we can see the original this p multiplied by this q we can say that this was the original revenue and now by increase of the output price we see that this area has enhanced and this is the top of this box that it added on the previous output so this part will be added here but not only this part will be added at the same time a component this that is shown in the black column is subtracted from this and this column is equal to the change in q multiplied by the original price means now this the white part that is coming into q plus delta q so this total box it shows that with the change in this price there is not only one aspect there are the three aspects that this component that will show this area of q plus delta q into change in price and this area that shows original price into change in q only and this is this part that is small in the size that shows the product of the both changes mean change in p into change in q we can see here that if this change in price is very very small mean it approaches to zero or the very small we can see that this small square that is the product of these two changes it will be a very nominal in size so keeping in view this we can see that when we derive our revenue function from here when it was the change in revenue it was having this aspect this and this but mostly when we calculate we omit this due to its small size and generally we say that this small change in revenue is equal to only these two components so when these two components and we want to measure the rate of change in the change of revenue means at which rate this revenue was changing due to further change in price so we will calculate this that we will divide this part through the change in price and this will be divided by change in p will come only the q and from here we can see this change in q will be divided by this change in p multiplied by this original price so keeping in view these changes now we can calculate that with the change in the output price what will be the rate of change in our revenue it depends upon two things mean what was the original quantity and what was the original price and the third is the ratio of these two changes 
it means if the initial quantity is of a very larger component so sometimes this small change will not be affecting its revenue but if depending upon this output price mean it is more and like this this ratio of this uh, inverse ratio of the change it will tell us the elasticity of or the rate of change in the output price so not only one factor we can have that there will be one two and the other these three factors affecting the change in the revenue due to the change in the price and this change or the rate of the change it can be either positive or it can be either negative and it can be of a very small amount and it can be of very larger amount and so it will be depending upon the elasticity we can say the on price elasticity of the product that how that output will change its quantity of the output in response to the price either it is very very elastic mean very responsive to the output price then there will be the more effect on the revenue but sometimes there can be the huge change in the price but keeping in view the nature of the commodity that it is less elastic or it is non elastic there will not be that substantial change in our expected revenue